Hello everybody, so um, this video is pretty much an update on my Amber Lynn Reed video that I did two days ago. Um, the reason why I'm choosing to do an update is because I failed to do basic research on um, weight loss, medical weight loss treatment, especially like medical weight loss treatment centers and stuff like that. I rushed into the, to the video with the video and posting it because I feel that um, Amberlyn Lynn Reed is living on borrowed time, um, and I still do because uh, just despite the fact that she's trying all these different methods to lose weight, I really still do feel that she needs to be in a strict medical, you know, strict diet and monitored 24-7 in a medical facility. But the problem is, is that she doesn't, according to what um, she's told us, she doesn't have medical insurance. And um, I don't, I mean, I don't know her personal life. I don't know what she does off camera. I'm only judging based on what little information she has given us and what she's given us is not very good um she's not really going to the doctors to seek medical treatment um she doesn't have like i said she doesn't have health insurance so um i really don't think she even with her salary on youtube wouldn't be able to afford just to um um get medical weight loss management um i think the in having insurance would make it financially easier to do so so um right now her options are very limited um but i still think she has enough money to get health insurance and to get into the right doctors and go from there what she needs to do because she's in my opinion, over 550 some pounds. I think she is in the 600 pound range. She does not look healthy. And according to some of the last couple last videos, she's not even really leaving the house now. She's pretty much bed bound. And, you know, I care, I care about her because I know what she's going through. And having watched her videos since like October, I sort of feel, like I said in the last video, very invested in her her life, I guess, or what she puts on YouTube, which may not be incredibly accurate. I mean, there's a lot of hate against her, and she's obviously trying to put up a front that she's brave and, you know, that she can take, you know, all the criticism but really, the fact is, I don't think she's really taking it very well, and which is why she's choosing to lie and to, because I know she's lying because of her behavioral patterns and just because of all the inconsistency in her videos. She was very contradictory, and she manipulates the audience. Um, I still don't think she really cares, or cares at this point. I think she's just doing what she does to continue to get views and to get money off it. Um, but I don't really think she's confident enough in herself to lose the weight that she needs to do, you know. And it's sad because behind all that, the drama and just everything that, all the persona that she portrays on YouTube, there is a sweet vulnerable girl who has a lot of potential and it's sad because she's missing out on life and she's missing out on being more than what she can be which was how I felt when I realized that I needed to make the change that I was indeed missing out on a lot and there's still a lot of things that I want to do and I am going to do once I continue you know as I continue to lose weight so all I can, you know, honestly, I've said so much already in my other video about how I feel about this whole Amberlynn Reed situation. 
And, yeah, maybe it was naive for me just to say, you know, to say, oh, just go, you know, pick up your bet, you know, get yourself up and go to this weight loss center. That was naive of me without doing research, and I, I apologize for that. But I still think that needs to be eventually the outcome to her, you know, with her, because even with what she's doing now, like, what you know really she says she's focusing on on a better mindset and focusing on her body and her mind and stuff like that I really think she's very weak-willed and not capable of doing this on her own now I could be wrong and I hope she proves me wrong I really do I really hope she sticks to the positive the little bit of positivity that has come up in her videos and she has made a little bit of weight loss progress so according to her but again this could be all manipulated it's it's just really honestly at this point it's you know it's really up to the person I guess the viewer to choose whether they believe her or not um I'm choosing to take everything with, grain, with a grain of salt and just you know be optimistic that she's really do you know doing what she says she's doing and really trying to work on making more positive changes in her life and amber all i can say is that this to you is please get health insurance please give a certain amount of control to medical professionals and get the help that you really need because you are living on borrowed time okay you are almost at the state of of total immobility. I mean, you know, if you really, if you watch my 600 pound life and you, and I think that there's another one, TLC, called something a half ton, a, the ton family or whatever. I'm not sure. I only watch my 600 pound life. Um, if you really watch those shows about, okay, then you will, can, you obviously can see what it will be like for you if you gain any more weight. You won't be able, you know, you, you'll be pretty much reliant on somebody to do everything for you. And that's even including cleaning yourself and and wiping your own butt. I mean, do you really want that for yourself? Do you really want to be in that state? Because if you see those people, they're not happy. They're just relying on food for comfort at that point. And they're just relying on the thing that's obviously relying on the thing that's actually killing them. And along with it, they get really bad health issues like... Obviously, I mean, sleep apnea, and then they have sores on their body, and, I mean, I've seen some really nasty shit on there, um, on that show, that people can get if they don't, if they, if their morbid obesity gets very, so out of control that they're just getting all this lymphedema and these sores. I mean, that's your, that's pretty much your future if you don't change, along with a, a, a various array of health issues. I mean, and the thing of it is, though, if you choose, if you really buckle down and do it, and let's say you decide to go on, like, Dr. Now's, like, 1,500 calorie diet, let's say you decide to call him and say, hey, I need help, you know, you can lose a rapid amount of weight loss because your mus your leg muscles, and this is what my dietitian told me, person who is morbidly obese like that can rapidly lose weight because their leg muscles are strong enough, have to be stronger than than most people's, so they can be able to carry the weight. And I think that's not only the leg muscles, but your overall muscle, is that you have, your muscle tone is bigger because you have to be strong enough to carry the weight. That is what my dietitian told me, okay? And she said, that's why you rapidly lose weight, because I think your metabolism's higher, and then just, it starts to fall off once you start really making the changes. So, Amber, you can make a lot of change in a very short amount of time because of that particular fact. And again, I'm getting this and saying this to you from a medical professional, somebody who specializes in weight loss, okay? This isn't just something I'm getting off another YouTuber or whatever. This is something I'm getting from a medical professional. Because I am seeing medical professionals for my health issues and for my weight loss. So, please, Amber, just get help and just do the right thing. Because you are going to die. That's just, that's just the reality. You are going to die. And those toward clothes that you have, you're almost, you're at a point now where they're barely fitting you and, you're in, and it's a 6X. 
So there's really no like a lot of play a lot a lot of companies who cater to um to obese people don't go beyond that point sometimes a lot of times. I really haven't seen a lot of places that go beyond that. So you need to make a choice and you need to make need to make it fast because you're literally you're just running out of time. I mean, you look horrible. I'm sorry, but your face is swollen. Your pallor and everything is just off. You look tired. You look pretty much what I looked like before I started really buckling down, losing weight. You looked un you look unhealthy. No matter no look, I'm gonna just say this. No matter no amount of nice fashionable clothes that you can barely fit in, no amount of makeup is going to cover up your unhealthy how unhealthy you are. I tried to do it for a long time. I thought buying nice clothes and wearing nice makeup and doing my hair nice was going to cover up the, you know, semi cover up the fact that I was unhealthy, but it just doesn't work. And as you can see, I still have skin issues and I'm still morbidly obese. Okay. I just choose not to cover it up anymore because there's no point, you know, there's really no point. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm eating healthier and I'm doing better, but you know, since my body is changing, I am getting some skin issues and that's just, you know, my hormones are changing because of it. So, I mean, it's, it's normal. And this again is what I'm getting from a medical professional because I, you know, I'm just telling you a lot of things I'm saying is pretty much what I'm, I've asked from a medical professional. So I'm relaying that from them to you. So... Yeah, just please make the change fast. And this is for anybody who is in a similar situation. You know, if you're at that point where, at that point in your life, if you're that high or even heavier, then please do something drastic because you are going to die if you don't. And no amount, like I said, no amount of makeup or nice clothes and nice hair is going to cover it up. Yeah, you can still do it. You, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it because you're overweight. I'm not, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is that it, it's not going to, to, to cover or conceal it. It's just, you know, it's just not going to do it. But it doesn't mean you can't, you sh shouldn't or can't do it. I still wear nice, a lot of good makeup, you know, makeup and look nice and stuff like that because, you know, I just like doing it. But, you know, I I have no illusions, you know, and I'm not ashamed of being barefaced anymore and, and, you know, just showing my true self to people because it's just who I am. So, yeah, um, just do the right thing. That's all I'm trying to say. Do the right thing. Get help from medical professionals. Stop trying these these fad plans. And if there are any idea, good ideas that you you can take them to the dietitian and say, this is what I'm implementing already. And they could possibly use you, you could actually help somebody by, you know, giving it to the dietitians and then they can they can say, well, this is what another patient of mine has been doing, and then they could possibly help somebody else. So, I mean, you know, it's, at this point, what do you have to lose other than your life? <laughs> it's just, I just, I care about you, Amber, and even though you blocked me on Twitter, it's not going to stop me from watching your YouTube videos and commenting, unless you block me on there, too. Um, I just want to help. That's all I want to do. I, I'm not hating. I'm not trolling. I'm not trying to be a bitch to you. This is just the, the, uh, the reality of your, you know, situation is that you don't do any, if you don't make a drastic, really drastic change right now, you are going to die. You are killing yourself with the food and you're killing yourself by being delusional and not taking responsibility true responsibility for your situation. So you need to grow up, grow up hair, and do what you need to do to get to a better place. You're not a kid anymore. You're 28 years old. Okay. 
take the responsibility and just do it. Okay, well, anyways, I gotta go, so peace out.